Now then, if I wonder if it's still on, I put my hand up there and it'll squeal. And I've had talked to you about turning it off before I turn, put it on. Right. And you told me what I could do, but I've got to where I prefer to hear it squeal as it goes on because I know it's working. Right. And then during the day, if I want to know if it's on, you just tap it. I just no, yeah. I don't tap it. I just Cover come close. Head. You don't have to touch it. If now, you get and close. you should get a little battery indicator, knowing that your battery is about to die. Do you get a beep, beep, beep? Okay. So that's the other way. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions about that? Nope. Good. Experience. I'm a, uh, normally, I turn this off before I take it off. Okay. So then I'll go ahead and put out the battery. Correct. Take it out. Now then, I got to where I wear this all the time. Okay. Now, trying to put this through that little hole is murder. You just almost can't get that thing to push it through there. So I went through my wife's sewing box, sewing box <laughs> and I got the littlest needle she had because a lot of needles wouldn't go through there. Right. And then... Uh, you just feed it through. I feed it through there and then put it back up through there again. And it's still hard to get through. There it is. That's the only way I can do it. I don't know if you can get your hands to... Sometimes I can and sometimes I can't. Usually when it's being used, I have a harder time, but yeah. in this case, no. Okay. Now, I always... Uh, you talked about it being hard to knock off. Now, that might be for a female, but for a guy that's just doing normal activities, I knock this off several times. Have you? Yeah, if you just raised your arm up like that or brush up against somebody, I lost it several times. So now I just you know if this breaks, all that is is fishing line. Fishing. No, it's well, I know you think it's fishing line, but it's not. Right, but you can replace it with it's fishing, fishing line, line or dental floss. Actually, this thing's got quite a bit of elasticity yeah. in it. So. So I don't know. There, that thing's squealing again. Yep, it's so, on. in my case, I can hear it squealing when it goes in, and I like, I like that sound. Right. Now, after I get used to it, and I put it on my T-shirt. There you go. And you know, for a female, it'll probably be your bra strap or right, slip or something. Undergarment. Yeah, undergarment. She's got it in there. Okay, anyway, I want to show you that trick because I fought that thing for <laughs> a long time before I figured that out. I don't have very many people who wear it, so. Oh, you don't? No. Well, I wear it all the time. Most of it, it's mostly my older women who like work out in the yard and everything and they're afraid to lose it out in the yard. Oh, so. I knocked it off too many times and I, I found it every you. time. I don't blame you. I just you. said I'd just rather wear it. I don't blame you. So. <laughs> okay. Did you want to go ahead and talk about this? Yes. This is a drying store. So what this does is it draws out moisture in the hearing aid. The design is um, to put it in here at night when you're done wearing it, and then you can um, put it back on in the morning. If you see the little blue balls that are in the um, jar, that is to let you know that this is currently active. So as it's drawn out moisture, those blue balls will start turning white like the rest of the balls. Just, you can reactivate this by kicking a cookie sheet, dumping the beads in there, and putting it in the oven 350 degrees for 30 Oh, lay days. them out on a cookie sheet? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Okay, and then you let them cool off, and then once they're cooled off, put them back in the jar, put the gray foam back on, and then um, you just take your Baja, and I, they tell you you don't have to take the battery out. I recommend oh. taking the battery out. The directions I read said take the battery out. Right. Um, but some people will tell you don't take the battery out. Oh. So I recommend taking the battery out because, again, it's drawing out moisture. So why want to draw out the battery life, you know? <laughs> so And then you just put it in okay. like this. And you can put this in here if you want, if it fits. 
I have done that like that once or twice, but mostly I just bring the... Leave it out. I like leave this. it out. There you go. What I generally do is try to do it like that, mm -hmm. so that you won't be I won't be tightened down on the uh, string the, the same there you go. place each time. Now then, I saw on the video on YouTube somebody that had a bag. Yeah, they used to do a bag back in the older ones. Can 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 you buy a bag at the? I don't know anybody who does the bags anymore. You don't They're know a pain anybody? in the butt. Well, my. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, because it's this long and it's really tight and trying to get everything to come out and oh. come in. Oh, so, really? Yeah. I thought maybe it'd be easier to put this whole thing in than this. But you know bit. what you could do is um, get you, well, you could do that or you could get you a Tupperware dish and pour the beads in the Tupperware dish and oh, do really? the same thing or use a Ziploc bag. Yes. Okay, you said I could use a Ziploc or a tup, uh -huh. Tupperware dish? Yeah, because some of my like my people who have the bigger hearing aids, uh -huh. um, we just empty them out into just a bigger size Tupperware dish and oh, okay. put the beads in there and then use it All right. as long as it can seal tight. That's All the right. whole goal. That's a so. good hint that I hadn't figured out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. They do make bigger jars, but again, if you have two hearing aids, not two hearing aids can fit. Okay. All right. Am I ready to put this back on then? Well, now. Now yeah, you can't do it. <laughs> well, normally I don't have any trouble. There yeah. it goes. They have a cute little kid here. Right. That comes in the mail and you don't even know it's going to come. It just shows up one day. Well, it's from when I, I send your warranty. <laughs> then they know okay. that you've gotten in. So then they send oh, you all the okay. other accessories. One thing they have in it, which is not much value to me, but uh, you would probably Amir. like it. A mirror. A mirror. I guess it's so when you're not proficient enough. Yeah. But I also found there's no really any angle you can get in a mirror to put that on. <laughs> I could never use a mirror. <laughs> I don't know anybody who can. Okay. Then they have some cleaning pads like uh, okay. soft wipes. Okay. For a butt mitt cleaning. Bump, okay. Butt mitt cleaning. Get some of those. Okay. All right. And then the other thing that comes with it is a battery tester. Okay. Now, you put it in with the positive setup. top down. So, no, I did yeah, it right. Yeah, you did it right. That battery's totally dead. Right. You don't want to open a new battery. Let me get you. I had some. Here, I got two batteries in here. Okay. I was going to see if I could find a good one. I got a good one, too. There you go. That one's a good one. Now, that battery's bad. No, that battery's good. I know what it says. That's a bad battery. How do you know? <laughs> because my deal starts squealing and, and beeping and everything. Okay. The, what I was wanting to show you right now, they need this. This thing is not real accurate. Now then. So that that's a used battery. Okay. But it gives a full battery signal. Have you got a different type of tester? No, I got that. All right. You test yours. That's good. But if I put it in my deal, it doesn't work. Maybe you can't hear it working. Huh? I said maybe you can't hear it working. No, what it does, it starts beeping again and again and again and again. That's a good now, one. Now, see, that it's a brand new one, but it hardly goes up to the top. I wonder if you got a bad pack of batteries. I don't know. Maybe I did. I know that I took one of them out there and it was bad. I bet you got a bad pack of batteries. Could have. But anyway, I'll let you throw those out. I only brought them, them over in. here. Yeah, throw them in the trash can. And. Now, where do you get your batteries at? I got them at, uh, you're always going to find them at the pharmacy window right close and right. those I got at Sam's okay but Sam's quit carrying them when I went there over the weekend okay they don't have them anymore so you I was going to go any pharmacy I was going to go to Costco 
Okay. And see if they're available. And that may be part of the thing you need to be careful to is because, you know, they buy in bulk. Right. If their stuff doesn't get rotated out like right. it should, you could buy a bad pack bad of battery. Yeah. The other thing about the battery is you don't want to take this off, off until you're ready to use it. Correct. Because the battery will go bad quicker. Correct, because they're zinc air batteries. So therefore, they're, there's little holes in the battery. I don't know if you can see down in there. But there's actually little holes right here in the right in the center of the X. Right. That um, once the air hits that, it activates the battery. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's why you cannot take that tab off and then put oh. it back on and stop it because they're zinc air batteries. Huh. So... I didn't know that. Yeah. So it, until the air hits it, does it take it for a while to activate then or anything? About 20 seconds. About 20 seconds? I was going to say I've never noticed. Yeah. Will it get stronger with time? The battery? Yeah. No. You're saying it's going to be, it's ready to go in 20 seconds. Yeah. In if my, that long. If that long. If in that my long. case, the battery normally will last about a week. That's about normal. Is that about normal? Seven to ten days is what they tell us. And then uh, sometimes I put it on and the battery will beep, beep, beep. It'll do like that for once an hour for the whole time. And then like the battery I got in now, it hadn't beeped twice yet. Okay. Um, if you get, and then in that case, if that happens, like if you do that, then it, it beep, beep, and then you put it in another battery and it beep, beep, um, either go buy you another pack or it could be the hearing aid. And that moisture has gotten built up in there okay. and it's causing the battery contacts to go out. Oh, so really? If, right. So if you use this, then it should dry it out. If it doesn't help any, doesn't make it any better, uh -huh. then we usually need to send it in and they re will replace the battery contacts. Okay. Real good.